the more we desire something, the more we often worry about getting it. Sometimes the worry can get so overwhelming and crushing, we'd rather just give it up completely if that meant we could just be at peace. Thankfully, when it comes to relationships and worrying about relationships, there is a better way. You don't have to just give up relationships to stop worrying about them. Rather, God has given us relationships as a gift, but like any good thing, it can get out of balance. So what he really wants for us, if he's called you to marriage, is for you to still want a relationship, but to want it in a biblically balanced way where you're not overly anxious about getting what you desire. Therefore, here are five things God will help you do to help you overcome any worry about relationships. And if you're a Christian single person who enjoys learning deep, practical, and biblical principles about relationships, I made AGW University specifically for you. And for those of you who enroll before the August 23rd deadline, I'm also giving you a bundle of bonus courses for free, three months of one-on-one -on -one email coaching with me, and a scholarship. Feel free to click the link in the description of this video to learn more about AGW University. Number one, God will actually let your worry get worse so you give up the desire for control and you're more willing to just submit to his plan. Sometimes our strength works against us. Sometimes our endurance ends up being a curse. And sometimes we need to give up sooner. 1 Peter 4, 6 through 7 states, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. If you don't humble yourself, and if you don't cast all your anxieties on him in love, God will let you be humbled by the anxieties you are refusing to cast onto him. Number two, God will help you accept the very real possibility that you don't get what you're hoping to get. No, I just can't accept that God would call me to singleness. No, I just don't believe a loving God would refuse to give me the marriage I always longed for. No, I will refuse to be happy until God takes away my singleness and gives me a relationship. If you cannot accept the will of God, even if this is something you don't want. His will is something maybe you don't want. If you can't accept that, you will always be tormented by worry and anxiety. But when you open your hands and you're willing to follow him, even through those seasons where you don't want to be in, that's when the peace of God floods into your heart. Additionally, when you are truly willing to receive God's no, you are actually in a much better place spiritually to be prepared to handle his yes. God often does want to give us that very thing that we long for, but he waits to do so until we're prepared to actually handle it. And again, one of those signs that you're really ready for that gift is when you're willing to follow God even if he didn't give you that gift. Through accepting the very real possibility of not having a relationship, you are actually much more prepared to receive the relationship God probably does want to give you. Number three, God will show you what action steps to take and help you take them so that you know you've done what you could do. Worry is often rooted in a belief that we still need to do something to get the desire that we really want. So, in one way, this can be healthy. There's a healthy pressure inside of us that God allows to build when there is something we really actually do need to accomplish to receive what God wants to then give us. But it turns into an unhealthy, sinful worry when we do what God has called us to do, and then we continue to have this belief that there's something we still need to do to get what we want. And that's when the worry starts to occur because worry is like the overflow of a desire when there's nothing left to do. You don't have any more actions to take, and so all that energy you have to accomplish that thing that you want turns into worry. God doesn't want you to be the person who lacks worry because they are lazy and just doesn't care. And God also doesn't want you to worry because you think it all depends on you. Rather, God wants you to be a responsible person who does what is needed and can then leave the results to him. Number four, God will give you unmistakable clarity when someone is not the one. Much of the relationship worries occur 
because we're afraid of marrying the wrong person. So if you're living in sin, you're neglecting prayer, you're just doing whatever your flesh feels like, then there is a reason to worry that you're gonna end up in a bad relationship. That anxiety you have is warranted because you are headed down the wrong path. Proverbs 1.23 explains, however, repent at my rebuke, then I will pour out my thoughts to you, I will make known to you my teaching. If you are repenting of sin, spending time in prayer, and doing your best to follow the Holy Spirit, God won't let you marry the wrong person. And number five, God will give you unmistakable clarity when you do meet the person he wants you to marry. The flip side to that worry about marrying the wrong person might even be a greater source of worry in that how will I know who God does want me to marry? So I don't know exactly how God's gonna show you who to marry. I know that he's gonna use his word. I know that he will use the spirit's impressions in your heart. I know he will arrange the circumstances to make it clear to you. But all of our individual stories are going to have unique variables that are special just for us. And some way or another, God in his sovereignty will lead you to the right person if you are seeking to follow him. Proverbs 3, 6, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. I created AGW University for Christian singles of any age. So the requirements are really simple, but they're very defined for a specific type of person. These courses are not for people who are already in a relationship or for those who just want advice on living in singleness. Rather, these courses are specifically for Christian singles who want to glorify God through a relationship one day. And again, you can be of any age, any life circumstances, any relationship background, because I'm not giving people a rigid blueprint that you must follow step by step, because there's so many variables in people's lives. You know, if you're 50 or 60, the advice is gonna be different than if you're 20 or 30. And that's why I give people biblical principles, a blueprint of biblical principles that those people can then apply to their own life. And through the email coaching, that's where you and I can really flesh out what you need to do specifically based upon your unique situation. The deadline to enroll is August 23rd at 11.59 p.m. So if this is something you're interested in, you can click the link in the description of this video. Until next time, God bless.